Hi, this is Project Geospatial, and I'm here with Sarah Campbell, who is the Director of Strategic Partnerships and Communication, who is going to talk to us a little bit about the strategic partnerships here in the St. Louis area to work on building the next generation of geospatial intelligence and workforce. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you. being yeah. Thank you for having me. So Sarah, tell me a little bit about, we, there was just a big signing yesterday to, to a partnership between the University of Missouri St. Louis and NGA, a strategic partnership agreement. Tell me a little bit more about why NGA wants to work very directly with universities and, and what is that partnership really about? Sure, so so as you may know, uh, NGA is, is building a new facility, N2W, uh, in St. Louis, and we are very heavily invested in the region. Uh, part of that includes wanting to build the next generation workforce, uh, and we will need a large workforce and we will need investments and capabilities uh, that aren't necessarily normal, ones you can't necessarily find at, at universities. And so what we're trying to do with our agreement with UMSL is help influence curriculum uh, to benefit uh, national security and the NGA. Ah. So yeah, yeah, it's exciting. So tell me a little bit about what do you mean by influence curriculum? <laughs> sure. So specifically, uh, we are working with UMSL to help advise on a new geomatics program and also look at working with them and building some foundations in physics, quantum, uh, and just these very specialized technical areas uh, that, that we hope will eventually uh, result in a pipeline of talent that wants to come work at the NGA. What is the specific skill set that you're kind of aiming with with, with working with quantum physics? Sure. Or so, you know, I think in general, uh, you know, students or, or um, you know, undergrads with interest in computer science, mathematics, uh, people that are just even looking at the basic sciences are, are, are perfect candidates to go into a program like that. Um, we really look at the full spectrum of technical backgrounds. We have people at NGA backgrounds in epidemiology. Uh, we look at things such as water security, so we, we are open to uh, talent that is interested in climate. Climate is becoming a very, um, it's always been a big yeah. issue, but climate security is very important. It's a huge national security sure. issue. Yeah. So, so I think particularly with the universities, having NGA staff and experts work closely with academic researchers and academic uh, leaders and helping them to advise on what, what would be curriculum that could benefit the NGA and also benefit their university. Are you finding that when you go out and talk with students at places like UMSL or Harris Stowe or SLU, what are students really excited about? Like what, when you talk to them and you talk about the curriculum, what, what really gets their attention? What gets them excited? So, so, so first I think, um, I think a lot of people in the St. Louis region are excited about the future of just geospatial period, right? The fact that this place is becoming the center of gravity for all things geospatial beyond just the NGA, right? Um, but I do think there's some excitement that the Department of Defense and the intelligence community is investing so heavily here that for some people they see a future, right? And they're getting exposed all the way down to, um, you know, the high school and elementary level to, to basic STEM programs that they may not have had before. Uh, that's another thing I'd like to talk about. So beyond just uh, with, with UMSOL and other universities, we are looking to, uh, to invest and partner and do some STEM activities in local high schools. Oh, that's great. Uh, and, and that ne won't necessarily be specific to geospatial science, but it will be basic math, um, you know, physics, robotics, all different things that they would normally not have had exposure to. So we are, we are, working, um, we are working now with the Department of Defense STEM office on some possible proposals to, to put some programs in place in this area. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, that's great yeah. to see like the investment back into the schools here in Absolutely. St. Louis is awesome. Yeah. And, and I do think that when, you know, it's so important for these kids to be exposed to things because they just don't know what you don't know, right? right? Like, you know, I grew up here in St. Louis, didn't know about NGA until, yeah. <laughs> until yeah. not that long ago. So, um, how do people inside NGA feel about this? Like, this is a kind of a sea change, right? To be so much more out into the public, to be yes. working with universities and schools. Like, how do how are you, you and your colleagues and fellow analysts, how, are they excited about it? Yeah, so it's it's certainly a culture shift. Um, I think you heard um, uh, Dr. Dixon uh, mm -hmm. from the DNI office talk a little bit about how we're kind of coming out of the shadows in general across the IC. But I think in order for the United States to maintain its uh, technological edge, 
edge. We have to uh, partner more closely with academia. We have to we have to start from the bottom up, and we really do need to be uh, open and transparent about what our needs are and our and uh, what, what we're looking to do. So, uh, I think. In general, most of the workforce is really excited about this. That I think some people have wanted to talk really openly about what they're researching and, and what they want to do. And, and now we're providing with Moonshot Labs and with our various education partnership agreements, we're providing avenues for them to do that and interface. So That's awesome. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to let people know about what NGA is doing out in the community and what you're doing to help build up this workforce that you need for not only for the mission, but for the country at large. Sure, so no, I, I think I would just summarize with that, you know, we're going to be here in St. Louis. We're excited about that. We view the community as our partner. Um, it's it's not a one-way relationship. Um, we certainly need a lot from them and they need, I'm hoping they want to work with us. Um, and I would also say that I think it's exciting that we can at least offer opportunities for, um, you know, careers or research in national security because, you know, as an American, I think that's something that a lot of Americans may be interested in doing. So we're excited to be here. Oh, thank that's you. perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. Sure. I really appreciate your time. And from Project Geospatial, we're here at GeoInt 2021 in St. Louis, Missouri.